welcome again to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Well, LSU's defense pitched its first shutout in four years in Saturday's win over Sam Houston. And joining me with more is LSU beat writer Randy Rosetta. Randy, how are you? Hey Rachel, how are you doing today? Doing great. Well, two Tigers got their first career interceptions on Saturday and Dwayne Thomas and Ricky Jefferson. And the Tigers also had seven sacks, two by Sione Tahima, a, tr a true freshman. So doing this against teams that you're supposed to dominate is one thing. But how does, how does LSU keep up this tenacity once the cupcakes are out of the way? I, right now, I don't think they need to change a thing. The one thing they're going to have to do better is defend spread offense running games, especially when you get into Auburn, Ole Miss, and those kind of teams. It, Sam Houston was a good offense. That's a team that came in and had put up a ton of points and a ton of yards. Now, they had, had not played anybody of LSU's caliber, but they could move the ball. I was actually kind of surprised that they didn't score some points against LSU, and they came close. Ricky Jefferson snuffed out the best chance when he intercepted the ball at the two so that it, it gets overlooked because LSU scored 56 points and had a great offensive day but that defensive performance is something LSU can hang its hat on moving forward they're going to have to like I said shore up the running defense but that secondary right now is playing about as well as anybody in the country and all the sacks were a good sign as well because Sam Houston is a passing team they were dropping back a lot and LSU was able to get the pressure on them and come up with all those sacks. Yeah, and one other thing, uh, backup Tiger center Ethan Posick left the game with an injury and that left third string Andy Dodd with his first ever appearance. Uh, a fine debut versus the overmatched Bearcats and we'll have more on the offensive line condition coming ahead this week. Well, Randy, thanks so much. Have a good day. Okay, Rachel, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> and join us Wednesday for another trip behind enemy lines. See you then.